Hello my Sorg Universe and welcome to a new type of video that I'm gonna make Shirts with stories uh, That will be the first one I... Why did I come to that? Well, I saw people posting as of late and that is something I've been always thinking of doing You know, making a top 10, top 5 video of my favorite jerseys um, the channel that actually really got me into making my own channel, the hockey guy, he makes his yearly jersey countdown where he counts down all his hockey jerseys. I think meanwhile he has about 300 or plus and he starts at 200 and you know he makes a video with uh, all of, he makes installments which is something that I have been thinking about a lot. However, what it always comes down to is that I have a really, really, really tough time ranking these jerseys, really. Uh, case in point, let's take just the Chelsea and the Man City jersey up there. Um, arguably, the Man City jersey is the better looking one. The Chelsea jersey though has some personal attachment or there's a personal story to it that you know uh, there is some value coming with it and it will be featured on one of the future <laughs> installments of the sto uh, Shirts with Stories video um, which will probably be once in a month or something so, so. and yeah I'm gonna show you five in each of these and I'll tell you a little bit story behind it each of these that I will show you today have the dedicated uh, videos already, which I will link up here or here. I, I, I always forget the video, I will link, link up there so you can have a look at them uh, if you want to see more features. I'm wearing the current Italy home jersey. The background is still the Champions League background here, so uh, you know it all doesn't make sense, but it makes a little bit sense because I'm mixing national teams with uh, club teams. The first one that I, sh I will show you is probably one with the longest story ever. Although this jersey is only in my possession, I want to say, since October 2018. And it's this beauty here. The Brazil, this is the, actually, this was worn 93, 94 prior to the World Cup. And you see it already. Uh, look at this. Uh, pattern, shadow pattern in there. It's the same pattern that they would wear at the World Cup then, but then it was kind of more, um, uh, they colored it so that you can see it better, the three CBF crests. And I got this, this was my first one replacing a fake cause I had, and if you go to the original video, and I have sold it meanwhile off, uh, you can see the original that I have. This was my third ever soccer jersey, which was not a bad replica that had the three crests as it was, but it had four stars over the crest. So I thought this was kind of perfect. Uh, why is this special to me? First of all, it is the story that it is my first replacement jersey. The second one is, this is also uh, the fake, was the first Brazil jersey that I ever owned because that Brazil team, although now in hindsight it was not all that uh, amazing, to be honest, I have to say this one really got me and I thought was definitely the best team. But that team really had had, had him down. You had the crazy celebration with uh, the cradling of the baby. Um, the World Cup final wasn't all, all the great, but Romario was definitely the star of that show and so I really wanted to have the jersey. I mean they were the World Cup champions. That was the not the first, it was already the third World Cup final, but that was the first World Cup where I really, really deeply got into it. Uh, I didn't see all the games because uh, there were make some games play play night, but I think from the knockout stage because then vacation started and, and so on, um, I could watch it. So that's why this jersey. Um, it is also special because this is the first jersey and I remember the day, I remember the day because it was, <laughs> we celebrated, it was uh, the, my wife's birthday, this uh, two years ago. This particular jersey uh, is the first one that I bought from this used jersey page, or not, not used jersey, of this uh, page, uh, the flea market page uh, that I showed you uh, not too long ago where uh, people sell their old jerseys and I saw this one for I think 20 euros and I said to my wife I need to get it 
pretty much immediately uh, and she okay it. It arrived, it had a little stain that I could clean and clean off and I have to say for two weeks I couldn't stop staring at it. Yes, the crest, you can tell it's an old jersey, it's a little bit um, wrinkled there, but it's an original. Uh, they sell a classic football shirt, you, you, you've at least 80 pounds if not more but overall the way that this jersey is done and it's just look at the pattern that it's a beautiful jersey for that reason alone it deserves there is three stories the one first brazil jer uh, jersey first that i bought and then the first replacement jersey so yeah jersey number one videos. jersey number two maybe this will be a little bit short though um is this ac milan 11 12 away jersey. Um, Milan had gone through a Scudetto drought, which they're currently also going through. Uh, so when they won the championship in 10, 10, 11 with a set of jerseys that I have to say, I still, I mean, I want to have them all now, but I'm still not very much convinced of those. Uh, but I knew that I wanted to have a jer uh, jer jersey with a Scudetto again. Uh, which is funny because for most of the time, the first jerseys didn't have the Milan logo on, 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 on there. And when, when, in nine, when I wanted to buy, you always had the Scudetto here. And then I suddenly f I finally have jerseys with the Milan crest, which I really wanted to have. And suddenly they don't have the Milan Scudetto anymore. So I, I said I want to have a new one. But I really loved the design. But why this features here is because I only saw Milan with my own eyes in a stadium twice. The first time was in the 95 Champions League final. Should have gotten the ticket stop out for that one um, against Ajax. And the second time was in 2011. We were freshly married and I got tickets for the Audi Cup in Munich for the two semifinals. You see the lineup. It is, uh, we saw Bayern play against Milan, the late game, and we saw uh, SC Internacional, Inter from Brazil play against Barcelona in the first game. In any case, Milan played against Bayern in this one. And I didn't expect much from that game. I was not wearing this jersey because I didn't have, have, have it at the time, but this was kind of the second time that I really said, oh, this is a jersey I really would like to have. It's absolutely gorgeous with the off center stripe and even the detailing here on the back. It's absolutely a gorgeous one and it has a Scudetto. Um, and then I didn't, the Bayern team was really, frightening and they were like two uh, weeks ahead in, pre in preparation for, for the season. However, after five minutes, Slatan scores. Toni Kroos scores the equalizer, went to penalties that Milan lost. But yeah, uh, that was the first time that I saw this live. And the other story is that this is one of the two jerseys. I have the home jersey, long sleeve with all the Champions League patches that I bought from World Soccer Store that was actually located in North Carolina. I was living in North, North, North Carolina at that time. Um, bought it from there and this was the, were the first churches after my first daughter was born so I had some special meaning with that there are pictures of me uh having this jersey on and my daughter sleeping on me so near and dear to my heart because of that as well let's move on i have another tickets have another ticket stops to show the jersey that i will show is the 0607 spain away um I wore this at the World Cup 2006 in Spain because we had tickets for all first round games of Spain. We had Spain, Ukraine, Asia, and then the throwaway game against Saudi Arabia. And it's the Saudi Arabia game where I can tell you the story and it is already also in, so in the video, you know, I was wearing this. I didn't necessarily like the home jersey back then. Um, and I have to say uh, the template here, I mean, I actually, think the Spain jersey dress is one of the better ver versions of it. It actually doesn't look bad at all. But it it was a little, uh, I still cannot get past the color, but every everything else I think I like. But you know I got the jer the, the jersey um prior to the World Cup because I knew we have now uh take tickets for Spain we should get Spain jersey and didn't really like the home jersey then I saw the away jersey and I have to say this one looks re really cool there's a Spanish flag on, on there as well the crest is wonderful but the problem is with the Adidas here centered with the crest here, there's a whole lot of space. We need to get, get a number. So I get number 27 on there because, and that's how crazy it was. I honestly didn't know that many Spanish players. The only one that I really cared about was Raul in a way. And uh, this was the first time 
I have to say that everyone kind of saw how good that Spain team is gonna be after them for uh, destroying Ukraine four for nil. And if I think if they would have gotten past France, they could have done major damage in the, in, in the tournament already. They were a really a joy to watch. I didn't care much, so I made a jersey foul. I put my own name, and twenty-seven is my favorite fav is my favorite number. Yeah, my own name is on there, but uh, that got me to a funny story here as well. The last game was in Kaiserslautern, uh, I guess South Saudi Arabia, on the Betzenberg sta Stadium and Berg Mountain. So you have to walk up to the stadium. And uh, Kaiserslautern, small town, was not very fit to host the World Cup, to be honest, especially with the big crowds. You had to walk up and, you know, I'm going up and I hear um, some people giggling, some Spaniards giggling at me. I mean, we were always in the Spain fan sector there and they're giggling da, 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 and, uh, and then suddenly we get out and they say, Roland, Roland, Red España, which I find so funny. I mean, I don't think I had the hair that long, but you know, that hair is not very Spanish. So I found that funny, uh, turned around, we make pictures, uh, had a laugh and that was that. So yeah, another nice short story. It's a very beautiful jersey overall. Okay, those were two white jerseys. Let's go to one that is one that I initially didn't like and then I loved it so much uh, because of the good memories. It's and of course in every of these videos, since I have the most, uh, you can expect one Milan and one Lask jersey. And I'm showing you a Lask away jersey. This is the the award is in the nine thousand, um, but it started varying in ninety nine. Uh, you have to know until ninety eight from ninety nine ninety six to the end of nine ninety eight. We were wearing Reebok. And then the whole, the club president uh, turned out to be a major banking criminal, let's put it that way. Um, the whole team fell apart. We had a great team with uh, lots of Norwegian players and, and, and so absolutely a team that was made to challenge for the title. The problem is it was all built on clouds in a way and it all fell apart very 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 quickly we had to sell all our best players off to get a little bit of money back and part of part of the deal is we lost the rebox bonds once you and puma came, came in and issued a very generic jersey i remember the home jersey for the remainder of the season was white with just a little bit black here's what lazio was wearing uh, there was something in the middle and then they gave us these with these and I, I remember the first time I saw these were in a not pre-season friendly but mid-season friendly or just when the winter break ended against Rapid at home and this was kind of you know we got the big we sold all our, our good stars but we got Christian Stumpf uh, from Rapid who had fired them to their title in 96 and all uh, to, in 95 and also to no, 96 also to the European Cup, uh, Cup Winners Cup final so he was a big star and he was from Linz although he played a long time for the rival and he was kind of the one player that we got to kind of make up for for our losses and we still had a really decent team with uh, good Austrians in there and I remember seeing this for the first time, I wanted to see that game, and what is that? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But we got to love this jersey, because we went on a cup run, and it was again rapid. And this is the 5th of May, 99, Wednesday, 8.30, cup semi-final. I have the ticket stop here, it's already, you know, they had this um, ski pass tickets back, back then, almost every Austrian uh, team and you can see uh, it's already a little bit black from all the heat uh, and, and and so on. What it says on there is I put always the results. Lask won 2 0 at Rapid. The the schönste Spiel bisher, the most beautiful game un, up until now, and I still think very very, very fondly. Lask were ranked outsiders. Everyone wanted that the final is Sturm Graz who beat Ried on that day, 5-0, against Rapid, the two best teams in Austria at that moment. Um, Sturm Graz, of course, the great. Uh, this was the, the really the best team. And we had to pay, play Rapid, who were the only challenge, uh, challenge away from home. Uh, it's a kiss of death, however, after five minutes, 1-0 was scored. Or, or, or in fifth minute, then it was nervy, nervy, nervy in the 79th. I remember Christian Stumpf scored the winner. So we went in the cup final. We played in the cup final in this one, unfortunately, and I have the cup final ticket stop here too. Cup final ended 1-1 with Ivica Vastic, who 10 years later would play for Lusk, scored an own goal. 
Last goes one nil up, we gave up in the 60th and E equals a stumpf had two big chances and we lost in the penalty penalty shootout. But ever since this cup win for me, I don't know if I got it. I I want to say I didn't get it then, I got this particular jersey then, uh, Christmas uh, uh, 99, so this was half a year later, but I knew I needed to get this one. I still think that the logos should go in here, but other than that, absolute classic, absolute classic. And the best thing is, uh, was it then at the end of the 2000 season, we again played at Rapid, we won in a 9 minute goal from a goal from the halfway line. It was the last game of the season, so the players could throw the jerseys in the, in, in the stands, and my brother caught one of those, so he has a match worn of this. So, yeah, cool stuff. Which gets us to the last jersey. And yeah, like in a top 10, I honestly have to say this is still my favorite. It's my first ever jersey. And the story is simple I fell in love with soccer at the 1990 World Cup. This Italy team was the team that I totally supported. Uh, I can remember when they lost to the on penalties against our Argent Argentina. This cannot be, they have to retake this, there needs to be something done. Italy cannot not play in the final. I love this jersey from the get-go. The shiny material, uh, the shiny crest, uh, then the, the Italian flags on there. And of course, uh, that summer, I think I think uh, my aunt said, yeah, uh, she heard from a friend of hers who was going to Italy, that Italian jersey, uh, in, in Italy, you can buy sock soccer jerseys everywhere, and we really wanted to have, so far we only had a t-shirt from the then current Austria jersey, which looks funny now, look it up, and uh, who, who, who played it, 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 Italy, but uh, for, uh, she asked us, so what jerseys do you want, and you know, we didn't know much about teams, I mean, I knew about Milan, but I was about to really get into Milan. I was not quite there yet. So the, uh, the one thing that I said is I want to have either Italy or Cameroon. Uh, and my brother said the same thing. And so, of course, what that friend meant that their manager is there, I'm sure she meant that they are the stalls where they're selling fakes. But for some reason, uh, the friend comes back and she says she only could find this Italy jersey and then she bought an Inter away jersey. Uh, and that was the Ursport one with the white, with the black and uh, blue diagonal stars, which is the moment I would kill for to have again. But Inter, no. I knew about Milan, Inter was a no-go, absolute no-go. So I said immediately, because it was all, 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 also with the three Germans. Um, and I said immediately, I take this Italy jersey. <laughs> Uh, my brother ended up with in, in, in the jersey. We both were wearing this a lot, uh, especially in gym class in school. So that's yeah, some wear and tear, and I think my mother also was washing it once too, so that's why there's some wrinkling on, on, on there. What I did not know, uh, when I realized this a few years ago, I think it was said on a classic football shirts video, where they were bringing this Fiat from the 1990 World Cup home to Manchester when he's wearing those Italy jerseys and then he said the way you know a player version from a replica is that on the player version the blue goes into the green and of course it doesn't have a logo and now going back to what the friend said we figured out this is a player version which probably was not intended to be, because I remember she, can, uh, my aunt having to pay more money than she wanted to actually spend on this. And I got a player version. My first jersey could have been a fake. I might not have been a collector. This set the tone. This jersey set the tone. I'm still trying to live up to it. I don't know many jerseys that could beat that one. Um, I think it's an L, so it still fits me a little bit tight. I barely wear it anymore, but I have it hanging right behind here on the wall to always look at it. It is a crazy beautiful jersey. If Italy could just go... Don't get me wrong, I love this one. Flag trim. Give me flag trim. Don't, 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 don't give, 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 give navy, navy blue. I like that there's no man manufacturer level. It's also my only Diodora jer jer jersey. It is plain. It is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's my first ever. And to be honest, it's definitely, yeah, 
it is still my favorite jersey. It is still my favorite, 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 favorite jersey. And then my aunt got me a player issue Italy 1990 as my first ever jersey. Is blowing my mind on this, on, honestly. And yeah, this one will stay in my collection forever. I also like this material. There's a little bit of cotton, a little bit of polyester. It's gorgeous. So yeah, those are my first five jerseys with a story. Let's see what the next five will be and when it will happen, I guess, latest in a month from now. Let me know what you think about these jerseys, uh, whether you have similar with stories and, you know, if you know my collection, uh, maybe let me know which jerseys you want to see in a video featured like that. So, story time is finished. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!